Welcome back to Saxthorpe. We are into September and as I suspected we have our first growth stage of grass. Now I was worried <laughs> that the corn would be ready but it's not but if we look down here the sunflowers are so we can't spray the sunflowers which is okay. Um, we should still be able to do Let's have a quick look, shall we? The spud field. No. You're joking, that's ready as well. <gasps> I would never have thought, I thought that would have been a lot later. Later, -er. later. -er? Gosh darn it. So we've got potato harvest to do. We've got canola to harvest and we've got sunflowers to harvest we are gonna be busy so first job of the day is going to be to spray the corn so we'll get that done we'll do the canola harvest next then probably the sunflowers and potatoes i think is going to be another time now I was going to, I'll tell you what we'll do, let's get unfolded and we'll start some spraying and we'll talk as we go. So, the plan was um, to chop the maize, chop the corn, make it into fresh maize, feed the sheeps, obviously once we get them. Um, but, there is no real way to store fresh maize, so... That is gone from the feeding plant. So let's get the sprayer raised up as far as it'll go. There we go. We will turn on and hope for the best. There we go. So obviously not massively realistic. Got the narrow tires on. Uh, jobs are good. And so I think what I'm going to do is just let this go to the oh no we can't no i'm talking rubbish yeah so the plan is to let this go to the fully ready to harvest state we'll chop it sorry harvest it for corn um and then yeah we'll just flog it when the best price is uh yeah when the best price is i only used far too many words today so yeah, yeah unexpected harvest of the sunflowers um i don't know why i thought they'd be later just did same for the potatoes i thought they'd be october but never mind um we can use the potatoes we can cut them so we may keep some of those i don't know how many we're going to need and um, we'll keep everything for now and we can make the judgment on whether we can sell anything once we've fed the sheep Again, when we get them, we need to save some money for actually getting the sheep. I suppose we could take a loan if we needed to, but uh, hedge. Yeah, we'll see. So, I will crack on, get this probably mostly done, and uh, I'll see you, uh, yeah, in a little bit. So, spraying all finished, and I did have to transport the uh, remainder of the liquid fertilizer from the shop to the field uh, to just top up because um, we didn't quite have enough um now noob mistake i was uh having a look if any of these were actually like bunkers uh, opened the uh, doors to this shed and saw this glowing light like, oh what's that come in here and there's a workshop already um so that's quite cool i quite like, like that little hidden away detail so i did repair the john deere while it was there now i've been thinking yes i know interesting um combining so if we just take a look so yes we're going to need to sort out the potato field but what i'm thinking is instead of leasing a corn slash sunflower header in this game month um 
sunflowers you can harvest them all the way up to the end of november same as corn now i'm guessing that the corn will come ready in october so the plan i think is going to be to harvest them both together now it's not going to save us massive amounts of money but we just take a look at the bank account 107,000. we need to buy some sheep still need mowers uh, i want to get the sulky spreader as well um so yeah now let's quickly just take a look at time saving stock check so january we could potentially see 41,000 in from the straw and maybe 46 ish in from the oats now i want to have a look at the grain grist to see if it needs wheat barley and oats or you can just put one type of grain in and uh, it does it all so i need to do a bit of research on that one because that would then feed our power food we're gonna do cut potatoes for the moisture food we'll have hay for the roughage and whole crop silage for the protein so that leads me on to the next plan which is barley now we've got two fields now that are let me think 30 yeah 30 and 29 that we could put to barley to do whole crop silage so that is something else that needs to be done but i think what we're going to do now is we are going to grab ourselves the new holland wherever i've left it here we are going to drop the drill off there head to the canola field and uh, hook up to the trailer and uh, yeah we'll make a start on getting the canola harvested so starting on the osr we'll go with osr for this one um now i was watching a video this morning and i was talking about it on um discord it was a uh, wardy's waffle video and it was the first one of them starting their harvest um and there we go header up now what was quite interesting was that um so obviously they have got tram lines and they were working anti-clockwise around the field but instead of starting on the head on the outside headland like we are they were starting on the tram line um and the reason for that was i think it was quite um i don't know whether it be light or soft ground soft we'll go with soft ground um so it was for the tractors to run on the tram line so you know when you're using course play it gets full or it knows when it's going to get full and then it cuts in makes a space that's what they were doing um going around the field I was like, oh, that's quite clever actually um the reason we were talking about it on uh discord was that um the alien paul from the farming agency released a I guess it's a teaser um about soil compaction um and that's all i know i've not i didn't listen to the stream because it was a german stream and my german is nicked good um <laughs> even though i did it for gcses i think i've got a d um so yeah it's uh, i mean so that'll be part of terror life i guess i'm not 100 percent sure on that um disturbed if you're watching please do comment because you may well, hopefully know more than me um but yeah so uh that's another added element of realism so what we up 30 percent um yeah, not shabby but again it's going to need some work this field as per all of the others see we've got the weeds which yeah all part of the course about from inheriting a field 
So I'm thinking about the money and... You know, if we need to, we'll take a loan. Um, I want to be able to progress um, to get in the sheeps. And, you know, I don't want... There's no point in trying to start a save and do sheep if we can't actually afford to get the sheep. So, not sure when they will arrive. Um, just trying to get the fields sorted first. Um, we could buy in hay but seems kind of counterintuitive when we've just sowed two fields for grass so yeah probably won't be doing that but the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need like going to need like that is just ugh, you speak we are going to need mowers a tedder a windrower um, we've got the baler, so that's not a problem. Um, yeah, all that kit is going to cost us a fair amount of money. Um, so what I might do is we'll just get this going on a bit of a trajectory that way. Did I put in the loan mod? I did not. I don't know why I've come back up to there. Um, but I think we will. Um, and then that's almost the challenge, isn't it? We're going to have to borrow a reasonable amount of money, probably at least, I don't know, half a million quid, probably, to get all the kit that we want or need. Um, and then, yeah, it's paying that back from the wool and lambs, potentially. Um, so, yeah, I think it's got... I think it's got some legs. Hopefully it's got some legs. <laughs> this series, anyway. Um, but, yeah. Still to sort of thrash out the uh, ins and outs of how it's all going to work. But, got a plan. And uh, that's what we're going to stick to for now. Unless something drastically changes. But, uh, yeah. So... Last pass down this headland. And I'm thinking we might make it to the trailer. Yields are horrendous. <laughs> but good thing about the canola is we should get a decent price for it um, when the time comes to sell. We don't need it for feed, so it should bring us in a fair amount of money. So first trailer load just been dumped into the silo. We've done the headlands and we've squared off the left hand side of the field over there in the distance. So one thing we are going to need, there we go, at some point is a diesel tank as well. Because if we hop in the combine just under half a tank so that's another expense we're gonna have to uh, deal with but let's now just see where in fact we'll go over one there we go we can get that field opened up there we go now press four and that will flick through the cruise controls for when we turn at the end of the field. So, yeah, diesel tank, diesel. Um, going to need somewhere to sleep. Haven't put anywhere down just yet. Um, so, yeah, that loan uh, is looking more and more likely. In fact, it's a certainty we're going to need one. Um, but... Just looking at the first load of canola we put in. Normal difficulty we're playing on, by the way. Um, 32 grand. And I would say we got at least probably another... Hopefully two trailer loads. Maybe one and a half. So there's a fair amount of cash sat there at the minute. We've got all the straw we can sell as well. I think I said that before. 
So we're probably sitting on about 100, 100 grand ish um, from the straw and the canola, and we'll see what we do with the wheat and the oat. Um, so yeah, we're not in a bad place. Um, you know, for first harvest, don't forget as well, we've got the corn and the sunflowers. So yeah, in fact, let's just be a bit cheeky and look. So sunflowers are going to be March. Corn is Jan. Okay. So come the new year, we'll have a pretty penny um to be uh, to be made we are going to need some trailers <laughs> that's the only thing it's the outlay all the time um we're going to need the trailers to do the potato harvest because 24 and a half thousand liters at a time we're going to be running back and forth forever so hopefully the sales will be good to us um but yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So what I've done is, well, let's go back a bit. We've already emptied one partial load um, and this is how I did it before. So got it to about 80% full, um, stuck a in-game worker on it and then get the combine emptied and then just take back over from the worker. And it seems to work pretty well, to be fair there we go that's the combine emptied we can just peel off there we go engine off and back in the combine just turn off the worker turn it back on turn on vca and off we go so we've got one and a bit passes this side and i think probably two passes that side We've got 43,000 litres plus 14, so that's 53, 57. But yeah, around the 60, 64,000 mark, I reckon we'll end up at. So, pretty good haul of canola, to be fair. Decent sized field, actually, this one. Um, not sure what we're going to put in here we may i don't know i'm torn we could potentially and i'm just reading the uh feeding sheet part of uh, the maze plus manual i think we're probably okay with what we've got so we've got the barley that we're going to put in for whole crop silage we've got two fields of grass for hay we've got potatoes that we're going to harvest that we can cut or potentially i could modify the um mix not mix modify the feed requirements so they'll just take a whole potato um so that's a potential and then We've got the grain, so yeah, I reckon maybe either hmm, wheat or oats, possibly. I'm not sure. I think it all depends on what we can do or what we need for the grain grist. Because I think that's probably the easiest way to fill that requirement. I mean, we could buy the mineral feed or there's beet pellets. Um... So yeah, plenty of options, but uh, yeah, going rather well, <laughs> even with the yield being atrocious, um, I'm still quite pleased with it to be fair, um, didn't think we'd get this much uh, off it, so yeah, it's going to bring us in a tidy amount of money. So we're nearly finished with the canola harvest and we can let the worker deal with the strip of shame, we blame them. <laughs> rather than me um, so yeah a couple of hours break been uh, recording with Mr Disturbed on Green Valley Nebraska and I did take the opportunity to ask him after we uh, after the camera had stopped rolling um, about the grain grist 
So it does need wheat, barley and oats. And as soon as he said it, I remembered um, him using it on Attingham. And it's best used with the um, bill limit thing. Um, so you can set an amount or a limit. Probably the limit because it's called fill limit. Um, so you, I think you use more wheat than barley and oats. Um, so that's fine. We'll be hanging on to the uh, wheat and the oats that we've got. The plan for cropping remains the same. So we're going to do two fields of barley. Um, one of which will be completely whole crop. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to get a set of mowers. We'll green mow it. Um, pick it up. And then we can either put it in the pit here. Or we can bale it and wrap it. And it'll just ferment as whole crop silage. Um, and then the other one, we may, we could either do a bit of both. We could do um, the headlands as a whole crop, and then harvest the sort of uh, the rest of the field. I guess you'd say um, as uh, when it's fully um, ready to harvest. So as actual barley grain. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> I apologise. Oh my word, I'm a nervous wreck. Um, so, was, um, what was I saying? Uh, barley, whole crop one field completely, whole crop the headlands on the other, and then harvest the rest when it's completely ready to harvest. Um, yeah, that's the plan. So I'm sorry, I'm just chuckling. I'm sat here, back room, and um, got my headphones on, so you can't really hear a lot. And then I can hear talking, and I'm like, somebody in the house, <laughs> bloody window cleaner. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that just yeah, really sort of made me chuckle. Right. Um, not quite sure what you're doing. So, let's take over. Oh dear. How. Yeah, very random. Very, very random. Right. All of our, all of our cluster now. So, we will end up with a fair bit of canola. I think is the easiest way to do that. It's really thrown me off that as that is very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Honestly thought someone was in the house. So yeah. Apologies. I will compose myself and I will be the consummate professional that I always am. <laughs> right, so we'll finish this up, we'll get it tipped into the trailer, and that is harvest done for this month. Um like I say, I would imagine the corn will be ready in October. Um, so we'll do corn and sunflowers at that point. I will set the John Deere mulch in this field once it has been lined. And not sure what to put in here. Because... Like I say, I don't know Whoa. how much. So we've got plenty of wheat, we've got oat, we're going to have barley. We're going to have... The canola is going to be sold when the best price. We've got the straw to sell. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Let's have a look at the cropping plan. So we can put in now... Wheat, barley, canola, or oats. I don't know where to put canola in again. And have that as a bit of an income generator. Yeah, I think we might, you know. We'll prep it the same, you know. Because at least then, we could maybe do this one as a bit of a 
comparison field. So let's just fold up the combine. We'll get this off the field. And uh, yeah, see how much canola we end up with. And then we'll start drilling the barley, I reckon. So whilst the drill unfolds, we got 76,705 litres of canola, which best price in December should give us about 100 grand, which is rather good. So, and I've made a note of it, I've written it actually on the feeding sheep page of the printed copy of Mace Plus that I've got in front of me, or the Mace Plus manual, should I say. Um, so yeah, because that's going to live there until the end of this series. So, let's now wait for the bikes to go past. It's all going so well today. It's so warm. I've actually got the fan in the doorway um, to try and just get some air moving. So, I don't think you can hear it. Hopefully not, but anyway, my deepest apologies if you can. So, I've not bothered topping anything up. We're just going to see how far we get with what's in the hopper ah, and breathe it's looking pretty good actually it only takes a mid amount of nitrogen which is rather handy what I could have done I suppose is set the I put the 7810 on the lime spreader could have set that running but we've got plenty of time i need to tell keep telling myself that and to stop rushing and just take things at a steady pace so this is going down quite well so the first video hasn't actually released yet so hopefully it's not been a complete flop <laughs> you never know with these sort of things but we'll see there we go lower back down try and keep her straight at least there we go so as per normal couple of headlands um and then the up and down rows um oh i meant to say since coming back into the game i have enabled the enhanced loan system so probably next episode now we can start to get those final bits of equipment that we need um and potentially start to um at least redevelop the pastures um, I'm still not 100% on what to do with the um, cow barns in the yard. Um, now, I don't want to completely destroy um, the farmyard. We've got plenty of um, storage space and bunker space, so from that point of view, it's all good. Um, but yeah, I'm just thinking of sheeps and storing them. <laughs> Housing them? How the sheep? Don't know. Um so yeah, that's the that's my only dilemma at the minute. They may stay for a while. Um I mean we could put in the improvised sheep shed. Um cracking mod. But will it hold enough for what we want to try and achieve on here? potentially not so it's something to think about um but yeah we'll see how we get on right i am waffling i will do the headlands and i'll see you in a second headlands done up and down rows commenced and i'm not overly convinced we're gonna have enough seed and fur to uh, finish the field they are deceptively big um, I don't know what it is I don't know how he's done it but alright we're only in a small area of the map but yeah I mean they feel 
like big fields. Um, and, you know, they are yielding as such. Um, I think what we might do is do another headland at this end, just to give ourselves a tiny bit more turning room. Um, but, yeah, loving it. Loving getting into it. And I, I don't think I'd ever want to do the start in spring. Just, yeah, I know. Was, we were, what were we doing? Oh, we were talking. Me and Disturb were talking. And saying, you know, what we need, what we're going to do in the next episode. And it's like, yeah, we love a harvest. Yeah. And I do. It's great. You know, it's the culmination of everything you've done all year. And, you know, why would you not love it? Um, But yeah, I couldn't imagine just starting in spring and just drilling and drilling and drilling and well pretty much like we're doing anyway but at least we get to harvest before we start anything um yeah i've not never i don't think i've tried it um who did i watch i think it was um simulation station ah and that is an interesting segue on to me Thanking the YouTube channel members and the Patreon member. Thank you all very, very, very much. Um, but yes, uh, SimStation has got a simulation station. Got a YouTube channel. And he is on Court Palm as well. Um, and he, I'm pretty sure he started in spring. I think. Probably slate me now. <laughs> pretty sure he did. Um, but yeah, it's not something I've done. Uh, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, Minecraft. Now, I think in my entire life, I have played Minecraft for about... Will be fair. Half an hour, hour max, probably. Um, with the kids, you know, sort of either helping them get onto the same server or just generally having a go um but they've changed i think it's the terms of service so now anybody with a youtube channel and presumably twitch as well can't actually use the minecraft name which i find incredibly bizarre surely and I don't, I'm, you know, I'm not a legal person or a, you know, sales and marketing executive. But surely that is shooting yourself in the foot. Um, you know, if I, I, I can't get my head around it. You know, if 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 giants did that, you know, uh, well, one we'd all be screwed. Um, but we'd have to really think of some clever naming and not use Farming Simulator 22. But all the videos on there are advertisements, surely. You know, I wouldn't have got into playing Farming Simulator if it wasn't for watching or seeing, well, Dagoin, you know, and um, Landy Kid. You know, I'm talking probably FS17. But yeah, it's just very, very bizarre. You know, sort of putting your nose off to spite your face a bit with that one. But I'm sure, I'm sure there's a reason um, that only they know. But yeah, very, very random. Um, but yeah, very, very odd. Right, we are what nearly halfway through, and we are munching through the fur and the seed. So I think what we're going to need to do is uh, a store delivery uh, to the field. We'll get filled up and then we'll just crack on and push on till we're finished. So we did have to refill, but I just bought two bags of uh, seed and fur so that we could just keep going. And that has lasted us well. There we go. So, this will need rolling. The canola field needs liming and mulching. 
So I'm going to be a busy boy between episodes because, yeah, we've done a fair bit of each and I know it's a farming game, but I'm trying to keep it um, at least a tiny bit interesting. <laughs> um, so what is the plan for next time? We've got another field of barley to drill, so we need to get that done. Um, there is, let's just stop a second. Let's have a look at, no, wrong one. Uh, well, that one. Canola. There's no rush to get the canola in. We could potentially do that in March. Uh, we'll see how we're going for time. We've obviously got um, spuds <laughs> to be harvesting as well. So I think the plan is I will uh, get that one rolled that we've just drilled. We'll get the liming done the mulching done so it's ready to go and then next time we will start the potato harvest <laughs> um and we will get the second field of barley all drilled and finished off as well so i know i've waffled quite a, quite a bit today so i hope you stuck with it till the end um and i hope you've enjoyed it if you have leave a like Think about subscribing to the channel. If you're still watching at this point, then, you know, you've got to kind of like what you're watching. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.